Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you two ways how to add voice to video in Canva or how to add a voice over to a video in Canva. The first thing you will need to do is sign into your account on canva.com. If you don't have an account, I would recommend that you create an account as you can get started for completely free. Once you have created your account and you are on this page, from here, you can choose the design that you would like to add your voice to. So let's say, for example, you want to create a presentation. You could tap on presentations right here. Then from there, you can choose the type of presentation that you would like to create. Or if you would like to create a video, you could tap on videos. So let's say I want to create a 19 by 20 PX video. All I would need to do is tap on it. Once you have done that, you are going to be redirected to a blank canvas. On this blank canvas, you'll be able to add your video. So to add a video, all you'll need to do now is go over to the left hand menu option. And by the way, you can see the duration of the video right here. Say for example, I want to use one of the preloaded templates on Canva. All I would need to do is simply tap and drag and then place it on the timeline as you can see right here. Let me do that real quick. Now to add a voiceover, all you'll need to do, the first option that you could do is go over to the top right hand corner and you are going to tap right where you see share. After tapping on share, you are going to tap on present and record. If you don't see present and record right below copy link, what you'll need to do is scroll down, then you're going to tap on more. Then from there at the top, you should see present and record, and you're going to tap on that. Once you have tapped on that, you're going to tap on go to recording studio. After you have tapped on go to recording studio, you'll be redirected to this page, and you're going to select no camera, since we only want to record a voiceover. Then below it, you can select the type of microphone that you would like to use. For example, if you have an external microphone connected, you can choose the microphone. Or if you'd like to use a built-in microphone, you can use that. You can tap on it. Once you have selected the microphone, you're going to tap on Start Recording. Then it will give you a countdown. And from there, you could simply tap on Play. So you can play the video, meanwhile you're recording your voice over, as you can see right here. Once you're finished, you'll tap on pause, and you can also tap on resume if you want. Once everything is there liking, you're going to tap on done. Then from there, you're going to be provided with a link that you can share with anyone. Even persons that don't have a Canva account, you'll be able to share that link with and they'll be able to watch your mp4 so you could tap on copy and you can share that link with anyone they don't have to have a canva account as i said earlier or if you would like to download it you could tap on download but let's say you recorded that voice over and you would like to use it on another video in the future or even this video you would like to edit the voice over you can do that all you'll need to do is tap on save and exit once you have tapped on save and exit, from there you could simply go over to the left hand menu option once more and you are going to tap on audio. After you have tapped on audio, from there you are going to see the recording. As you can see right here, here is the recording and you can see that this recording was just done a while ago. So if I wanted to add that recording now to the timeline, all I would have to do is simply tap on it and drag and place it onto the timeline as you can see right here then to edit the recording all you'll need to do is tap on the three dots from there you could tap on volume you could increase the volume if you want or you could tap on the three dots and if you would like to adjust it in any way like remove any pauses or so on you can do that if you would like to tap on audio effects and make it fade in or fade out you can also do that as you can see right there. So the voiceover is actually saved. All you have to do is tap on audio. Another thing that you could also do when you're recording voiceovers, 
So let's say, for example, I want to record a voiceover again. Let me remove this one right here. So I'm going to delete the track. All you'll need to do, you're going to tap on notes right here. And I would recommend that you add in your video script that you would like to do the voiceover for right here. Again, all you'll need to do is tap on notes. You could type out the video script right here or you could simply paste it. Then you're going to tap on share once more in the top right hand corner. Then from there you could tap on present and record. I'm going to delete this recording right here. So let me delete that recording. Then I'm going to tap on share. Then I'm going to tap on present and record. Then tap on go to recording studio once more. Once you have done that, you are going to see the video script on the right hand option as you can see right here. And again, once more from there, you will be able to select start recording and you will be able to read the video script right there. Meanwhile, you are recording. Let me do that real quick. So you can simply read hello and you could play it right there. Meanwhile, you are recording. Then once you are finished, you will tap on end recording. And again, it will be saved and you can edit it if you want. Another way that you could add voiceover, so let me tap on save and exit. Another way that you could add a voiceover is by going over to the left hand menu option, tapping on uploads. Then again, you'll tap on audio. Then you'll tap on upload files. And from there, you could upload a file and then you'll simply drag and paste it on the timeline right here. And let's say, for example, you have more than one videos on the timeline. So let's say I were to add another page. So let's do that real quick. Then let me add something. So I'm going to do, go to design. Let's say I were to add this. Then add another page also. And let's say I were to add something more. Let me do that. Okay, so now I have three pages. And let's say I would like to add an audio strip or a voiceover to each individual page. All I would need to do is tap on uploads. And even though I tapped on delete earlier for the voiceover, it is still saved right here. I would have to go into audio right here to remove it. So let's say, for example, I would like to add one voiceover to this page. All you want to do is ensure that it is at the front of the timeline. So you want to carry the cursor to the front right here. Then you're going to simply tap and drag the voice over. Then you'll simply add it to that section as you can see right there. Then you're going to drag the cursor to the other page. Then you'll simply add the voice over or the recording to that page as you can see right there. Then you can also edit the length of the voiceover by dragging it. Then you'll simply move the cursor once more. And from there you could add the other voiceover. So let me do that real quick. As you can see right there. So now each page has a different voiceover. And that's basically it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. And once everything is to your liking, you could tap on share in the top right hand corner. Then after you have tapped on share, you could tap on download to download it as you can see right here. You can select the format, more than likely it will be mp4. Then you'll simply tap on download. Thanks for watching, hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.